Good morning, brothers and sisters, lovers, haters, boys, girls and vibrations. Hope everybody's well on this Sunday morning. Now, this is my reaction video to Darren G. Apparently, it was him getting a pool cue wrapped around his kipper. Now, there's been some speculation whether it was or whether it wasn't Darren G., I would say it was. You know, I'm quite convinced that it was. I mean, it looks like him. He's wearing a hat in a pub. Um, and the, the, the physical behaviour, you know, the hand movements, the body language certainly suggested that it was him. Um, whether it was or whether it wasn't, you know, what I've seen in that video was somebody behaving very aggressively towards a group of lads and picked up a pool ball and threw a pool ball full swing at somebody. Now, that could have been deadly, couldn't it? And I would say that's probably classed as a deadly weapon when it's flying through the air at them sort of speeds. You know, now let's say it was Darren G. You know, he's certainly not behaving like somebody who is attached to an anti-knife crime campaign, is he? You know, but things go on. He continues ask, acting aggressively and, you know, throws a punch at somebody. Now, there's also been some speculation whether Darren can or can't fight. Now, whether it was or wasn't him, and I think it was, you know, the person in that video certainly can't throw a punch. You know, they've certainly had no training or no experience in throwing punches. You know, it was quite possibly and could have been one of the worst punches I've ever seen attempted by anybody. Um, and then, you know... The man that was stood with the pool cue knew exactly what he was doing. He was cool, he was calm, he was collective, and he was just waiting for his moment. He's just seen somebody, you know, use a potentially deadly weapon against one of his mates, and he's just seen him throw a punch at another one of his mates. So he'd done what a good mate would do and just wrapped the pool cue right round his musket. <clears throat> and he stiffened up big time. And all I can remember running through my head when I seen him fall into the floor was timber. <laughs> Anyways, it was what it was. Um, aye, look, whether it was him or wasn't him, you know, that was a bit of karma right there. You know, you'd, uh, you're starting a fight with weapons, you're being aggressive, and you'd end up getting put to sleep. You know, these things happen, don't they just, you know, as I well know. Anyway... Thanks for listening. Have a nice day. I'm away uptown with the youngest Dawson going for haircuts and McDonald's and that. Bye-bye for now, people.